Well, as you look at our lawn here at the studio garden, it looks like someone's been playing golf and leaving a lot of divots. However, it's not a golfer that's gotten loose. It's armadillos that are digging up our lawn. Now, armadillos can be quite a problem. It would be nice if we could train them to dig in the spots that we want because they're wonderful soil aerators. The problem is that they're always digging where we don't want them. And the uh, example here in our lawn is just a case in point. Um, the armadillos come through here at night and they're digging for grubs. This is basically their main food source is grubs. And so they'll dig up quite a bit of our lawn and also our garden areas looking for grubs. Now they can be difficult to control about the only thing that you can do is uh, trap them or remove them in some other way. Um, there really aren't any repellents available for them. You can experiment and try uh, different things like cayenne pepper. However, um, one of the best ways to get rid of the armadillo damage is to get rid of their food source. And right now is the prime time to treat for grubs in our lawn. Now to treat for grubs, basically, if you check a one square foot area, if you find one grub or more per square foot, then you know that you can go ahead and treat for grubs because that's probably what the armadillos are digging for. Now anywhere from mid-August through September is a good time to control grubs and there are several products on the market to do that. Uh, anything like Dursban, Diazinon, or Optinol are available and to find a product that you can treat your grubs with you can check with your county office. Now the other thing about treating for grubs is that you're actually treating the newly hatched grubs, the very small ones, in your yard with these chemicals. The larger mature grubs are not going to be killed and really there's no way to kill those with chemicals um, aside from armadillos eating them. But what you're doing is treating now for next year's armadillo problem. Also, grubs have sev there are several species of grubs and they have different life cycles. Some of them stay grubs in the ground for one, some two, and some three years altogether. So you may need to treat two years consecutively for grubs to basically eliminate the problem in your yard. So just think about uh, treating for grubs right now. Uh, one of the last things to think about is if you are going to treat for grubs, we've had a very hot, dry summer, you'll need to thoroughly water your lawn before you treat and then also after you treat and follow the label directions for any of the treatments. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. You can also find more recent videos on our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.